Road Talk, brought to you by the Road Safety Advisory Council at RACT. For every fatality that I've investigated, I remember the name of every deceased, the date and the location that the crash occurred. I've been in the crash investigation section now for seven and a half years. Between my sergeant and I, we've attended over 300 uh, serious and fatal car crashes, uh, or crashes involving excessive speed or, or something that requires us to attend and examine the scene. Just before 6.30, two people in a Kia Rio were driving on Boyer Road toward New Norfolk when a white Holden Commodore approached from the opposite direction. Police say the weather and road conditions were clear, but it's still too early to rule anything out. We will always find uh, a number of factors or one factor that has caused or contributed to a crash. What we're looking for is the fatal five. So speeding, uh, inexperience, drugs and or alcohol, failure to wear seat belts or inattention. There are elements of frustration when you attend a crash and then you realise that they're totally preventable. The cars don't just drive themselves, the people behind the wheel are making decisions uh, to either exceed the speed limit or to exceed uh, the speed for the conditions. In reality, if the problem is everybody taking a small risk gives you a bigger problem than a few people taking a large risk. Speeding is a factor in 31% of fatal crashes and 31% of serious injury crashes. 49% of fatalities and 47% of serious injury uh, crashes occur in either a 100 kilometre zone or a 110 kilometre zone. Speeding doesn't directly affect your thinking, but it reduces the amount of time you have to perceive your environment and to react to it. It's really sad when you have to go to someone and say, look, I'm sorry, but your loved one has passed away because they made a, an error in judgment or they just made a mistake. And we as humans are no safer. You give us a good hard hit and we hurt. And speed is the big thing that gets us hit hard. The vehicles protect us better, the roads protect us better, but we haven't changed. <laughs>